Yo, what is up, guys? Today, we're going to be going over some pros, tips, and tricks on Warzone 2. And the first POI, we got Zai Observatory. We're going to be giving you guys the best jump spots, loot spots, landing spots, and more. So to start off, this brown dome here is a very good spot. And for one of the biggest reasons why, you're almost guaranteed a three-plate armor every time. Now, we all know a three-plate armor is essential to staying alive and getting more kills. As you can see, there's another one, which is pretty insane to even think about. From my experience, I would say about four out of five, about 80% or higher, you get a three-plate, which is pretty damn high. To top it off, you have a lot of loot bags here where can you can easily get weapons every single time. All these bags have weapons. So for that reason, this is one of the best spots to land. So another great landing spot is these little two garages right here, and I'm going to show you why. So the good thing about these these two little garages is they're guaranteed guns crates spawn here every time it's usually one or two crates and just like that as you can see i have weapons there's weapons on the floor there's a lot of tacticals gives you pretty much everything you need to work with and now there is a probability of spawning a self-revive um you can go to these bathrooms see if there's a revive gun or self-revive a three plate uh, I would say it's probably a 50% chance. It's not as high as the brown dome, but it's pretty nice. And sometimes the buy will spawn right here. And then you can buy yourself a, a weapon of your own, a three plate, whatever you're trying to look for. But from here, usually you want to rotate uh, wide. Usually when I land on any of these edges, I want to rotate wide. We're going to test our theory here. Let's see if we can get a three plate. And here's a three plate. And I'm not trying to I'm not trying to commit to the main building right away. I'm kind of playing the outskirts because unless you land in the middle, you just don't have information. Running around down the middle, you're just going blind. So a sort of hot landing, but for you to understand how to efficiently do this is top glass, this building right here. And there's usually gun spawns at the corner of this building. So once you land here, you kind of want to see where everyone's going. As you can see, if there's not a gun at this end, a gun will spawn at this end. Most of the time, it's very likely and usually there a gun will spawn on that side so as you can see there's a gun right here sitting around so usually when you come land here you want to land at the edges and try to find the gun you never want to land like in the center or like kind of like you want to get that gun immediately and be at the edge because at the edge you can finesse and then once you're up here i mean you have all the information in the world you might hear people under you you can go for these guys oh uh, you can see around hey a guy flew over here guy flew over there and this is a really good spot for that reason now it is a more aggressive landing and you you got to be cautious but once you get the gun spawns down and once you uh, obviously if you're maybe of a higher skilled player this is something you probably would want to do uh, i like to do this sometimes depends if i'm going for like a nuke streak or playing something for a lot on the line i usually won't do it because it is very like i said it's a little bit of a high risk and just to help you guys understand like how i talked about how in the brown dome there is weapons that spawn every time there's the duffel bags on the map that are a guarantee spawn i want you guys to understand this these duffel bags here like the brown dome like these once you get on understanding like on this map um they basically spawn there every single sp time one spawns right here and usually it's gonna uh, it's gonna have a gun 100 percent of the time and then sometimes it has a three plate it could have a backpack it usually comes with a gun some ammo and a tactical and sometimes it can have a little bit extra and then for example this one spawn here now for the crate spawns they're consistent but they're they're they're, they're there's variables to it right this crate won't spawn here every time right uh it could spawn here for example uh so these crates aren't a hundred percent guaranteed like a crate can spawn here sometimes but sometimes that doesn't sometimes it creates spawns in here so the, the crates it's like a 50 percent, maybe a little bit higher it, like this one spawns here sometimes so once you play this map a lot you start to understand that now in zaya there are three stronghold buildings that will spawn the money or the actual stronghold it's either going to be these two buildings right here this blue one or this white one and if it's not those, it's this one in the middle between both of these observatories. It's going to be this a little uh, building that you see a very similar one across the map. So to figure out which the stronghold building is, you're going to want to see the orange flags. And as you can see, this one right here has orange flags. As you can see, flapping around, you're going to know which one it is every time due to the orange flags. And if the stronghold does not spawn here, well a little bit of a money glitch there's always going to be money inside there's going to be some white crates you're going to have to find for example i hear one under me i'm gonna grab it open it but it's going to have usually it's going to come with money a lots of money it's, it could come with uavs um with weapons as you can see and usually there's two here's the second one and the, the good thing about the weapons they're fully loaded out weapons which is pretty cool 
all attachment now and you can kill a lot of people with these things and obviously just sets you up for the game now there's thing two things to know with this building that i want to teach you guys some little jump spots so normally when this is a stronghold building this ladder is blocked because it, that's just how they do the stronghold buildings you cannot reach the roof right there's no way cannot climb this ladder cannot get on top of this but there's a little chirik here a little jump spot for you guys to learn so you can actually jump on this ledge jump on top of this ac here hop on this and then you boom now you're on the roof you can loot whatever crate you can get the high ground and kill anyone in front of you now i want to show you guys a little cheeky of a jump spot no it's not this one even though this one is pretty cool a little nerdy it's even crazier there's a spot right here where no one ever sees or checks and this spot is extremely ratty because no one expects for you to be all the way up here in between all these boxes and you have everything right you can kill a guy coming out. You have the entrance to this. You can lay down here, just pre this. You can turn to your left. You have all of this. It's a very nerdy and effective spot. You're going to make some people rage. And you can even do this. So this is something a lot of people don't know. The fact you can hop up on a lot of these top of these crates. Look, I'm hiding in the light. It's a little, little cheeky spot. Hey, use it, man. This is also a very nice little spot that not many people know of. Or maybe they do, but they don't think to do it. You can get on top of this ledge right here on this wall. And then jump on top of this rooftop. And now you have high ground. High ground is really effective in Zaya and it's one of the best things you can do because it obviously allows you to kind of hold people, look down on them. And a lot of it is sort of high ground, right? Like these buildings. So let's say, for example, you're hearing shots over here or even here. Instead of just kind of playing the low ground and running around and hoping you find people, this is a very good maneuver you to do. You do this jump spot right here and boom now you have the high ground now you can kind of clear it out you can jump on this you're like all right where is this guy where is this guy you know and then you can just shoot him inside something i want to talk about very quickly as well as a little jump spot here if you did not know it's easier to do it from here if you jump up here because you can just um jump to here and then jump on this and you can climb up here so this is a way to jump up on this area and not have to go all the way low and up this is kind of a way if someone is sitting up here or like sitting over here you don't have to wrap all the way to like this low cliff or wrap all the way right you can jump on top of these umbrellas and kind of work top like jump on this then you jump on this and like now you have this little pinch that they don't they don't really expect and normally really quickly since the stronghold building is here the windows are blocked but a nice little cheeky jump spot just for you guys to know you can actually get on the fence or you can just simply jump on this umbrella and when, the, when these windows are open you can jump here and just go into the window a lot of people tend to not know this and they try to go inside they try to go around but if you're fighting a guy here like even just doing this and preeming the guy in the window and kill, i've killed so many people doing this like the door and it's so free and you can do it both sides to get on this fence you can jump on top of this ac boom get in the window so just something to know if the stronghold uh building wasn't there another really cool jump spot is right here not a lot of people know about this or think about this uh sometimes a crate spawns up here uh people think you have to go all the way over here and then do this and jump up to get the crate or to go on top of this building but you know let's think smart here let's let's start these jump spots and i'm gonna teach you guys so this little trash can is gonna be your best friend you're gonna want to hop on this little trash can hop on this boom you're up no one expects you to be here what the heck he's up top boom 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 easy kills you're top of again high ground high ground is key especially up in zaya or just in this game high ground is super efficient another way to do it but you can do this right here and then jump up same thing little thing for you guys so for cash spots or cache however you want to pronounce it which i'm going to show you if you do not know what they are they usually contain money uh kill streak almost i think every time it's some sort of kill streak money uh, almost every time and it could be a three play and a weapon every time so they're pretty good they're really effective especially if you need to regain or you want to hit them real quick if you're missing maybe a streak you want a three play and and fortunately here in zaya there's only one really nearby in some areas where you know if we do some more of these you're, i'm gonna be showing you a lot of them uh but zaya only has one it's gonna be at the edge of the at this part where there's the heli the two stronghold buildings that could spawn the big zaya observatory building so it's gonna be under the zip line and i'm gonna show you guys really quickly it's right there if you can see that and it's this little thing it looks like a little vent and you can hit this really quickly if you like if you're like i said if you're missing something you can come down it's gonna be white if it hasn't been hit yet or if it's not looted at all boom two thousand dollars <laughs> like i said a three plate uh, i guess i guess kill streaks aren't a hundred percent there it's like a high probability and a weapon and tactical so it has everything you basically need especially on a regain weapon three play potentially kill streak potentially 
uh, money, tacticals, so it's really good. So normally, how you want to rotate at the end, once you got your kills, once you got your loot, like, hey, I want to get out of Zaya, there's definitely different things you can do. One, you can check where strongholds are. Usually, they spawn Shireem, Village, or Hydro, you, high probability, or Marshlands, right? They're usually one spawning in one of these four spots most of the time, majority of the time. What you can do, Zaya is really good because it's in the middle. It's in the center, basically about the center, and you can fly down to anywhere you want to go to any stronghold immediately. And that rotation is going to be huge for if you're trying to get kills, if you're trying to hit the stronghold to get your loadouts and get your weapons, get money. Then you can, you know, transition that to a black side and get more money, and it's going to help you win the game. Whether you're going for kills or wins, this is why Zaya is a very popular spot, and it's very good. For the final thing, helicopters are very useful in Warzone 2. And, well, one spawns here almost, I think it's a 50% chance. I don't really know the odds, but there is a chance for one to spawn here. I will say for me, it's about 50%, 50, 60% of the time. So... Get the heli. Let's get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. Make sure to drop a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments below that you actually enjoyed this type of content. We have a lot of POIs that we can cover, so it'd be a good idea to do one if you want me to do the other POIs and break them down. As always, I stream on Twitch. Check me out at twitch.tv slash apathy. I'm live pretty much every day going for some high kill games and some nukes, so catch me there. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.